All right, so I want to explain some things before we hop into the world. So, I was playing, trying to find some heart crystals so I can have a, at least 400 health when fighting bosses. But then I got the uh, message, an evil presence is watching you. So I logged out of the world because I didn't want to fight the Agathu. Because if you log out of the world when the, the random event happens and you don't actually like spawn him in on your own, he won't uh, actually attack you. So then I logged back, log back on to look for more heart crystals. And then now I'm getting attacked by it. A goblin invasion so once we hop in we should be battling this goblin invasion which does have something new in hard mode not in regular mode though sadly so let's do this west east no it's east and we got the little oh god i'm scared about this i'm scared about this Yee! but uh we 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 gotta we just gotta do this we just gotta go all out zero percent so far not doing too hot uh oh uh oh they hit hard, to say the least. Alright, this is going to be interesting how we're going to do this. I'm trying to not have my guys involved here. Oh, God. Once that guy's involved, I'm not trying to have my NPCs involved. So we're definitely going to get our asses kicked during this, to say the least. Oh, no, it's <laughs> the guy came out. Why you come out here? You're perfectly safe over there. I guess he just wanted to join. Oh my god. I guess he just wanted to join the fight. I respect. Kind of. Not really. You're kind of stupid. I wouldn't want to join the fight. She just let me handle this, man. I would have handled it on my own. I would have died a couple times. I appreciate appreciate your uh, bravery. Uh, I'm just going to knock him into you if you don't mind. But she didn't seem to mind that much. Oh. The guy. Oh. The guy with the counter. I gotta save the guide now. Operation save the guide. Uh oh. If only I can break arrows. This sucks. We're gonna die. Like, not even. Oh, there you go. Okay, never mind. We might actually live now. Oh my god, I jumped into that arrow. He's shooting these on spot arrows. So we got the, the, the progress bar down here. And uh, that should show us what we're doing. I didn't find a single heart crystal. Because I kept on getting interrupted by these random events and shit. The guy is dead. Like, Scott, you're dead. Oh, he jumped into the hole. He might live. He might live after all. Wow, what a smart guy. To oh, my God. I'm getting bombarded. Do I have grenades? I don't have grenades. If we just stand, like, on a slope, we're still going to get hit. But, Jesus Christ, it's like that fucking moment in 300... Where those, like, the wall of arrows just get shot out. Oh, my. I gotta come over here to you guys. I gotta bring the... Where's my mouse at? Oh, there it is. I couldn't find my mouse. Apparently, it was above my head. I didn't even see it. All right, we're 20% cleared. I'm gonna go on a hunt and say we're gonna die at least, like, 50 times. Uh-oh. Scott? Is Scott okay? Uh-oh, they're all going down there to Scott. I think Scott may, may not be in the greatest situation right now. And he's dead. Alright, well. I actually did get Crimtane. I went back to uh, where we died. What the fuck am I supposed to do here? I can't jump. Wait. Where's my... Can I... <laughs> I got the Crimtane when I went back to go check out the Crimson again. Because I wanted to go get my gold if I if there was gold still left there and it didn't get taken away. It did get all... It, it did get taken away. But I did pick up Crimtane ore from it. So I'm not that salty about it. As long as no other NPCs come out here, I'm I'm fine with, uh, with this situation at this point. And I hear an NPC already shooting. I hear the, uh, doesn't this pierce enemies? It does, right? It doesn't feel like it's piercing. Uh oh. Hey, at least take out the guy who's almost dead. All right. At least take that guy out before I die too. I'm okay with dying. I don't have a problem at all right now. As long as my NPCs don't die. Oh, oh, spoke too soon. All right. Rest in peace, most of my NPCs. We got a long way to go. I'm not going to enjoy this episode at all. Because of this. This feels like the King Slime fighting. I wasn't prepared for this. I was trying to prepare for it, but like I said, I kept on getting interrupted when I was trying to prepare. Oh my god, I can't even move. I can't move. Help me out. Help me out here, team. My, uh, myself. Apparently something hit me. Well, one of those arrows hit me? I didn't see any of those arrows hit me. I saw like three of them fly over my head. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I'm 
extremely under underprepared for this. Just like the slime boss fight. But we got it done. I, I might just cut out the rest of this fight because there's nothing to see here. I don't see anything to see here. Oh my god, those dudes got range. Uh oh. Can I hit? Oh my god. They're body blocking each other now. Alright, you're dead. Dead. Thanks for the easy kill. Uh oh. Just start throwing these fucking balls at them. Use their own weapons against them, I guess. Seems like the uh, best, best uh, actions we can do right now. There we go. I'm gonna close this door because I don't want my, I don't want my team dying. My team, my NPCs. I wonder why I keep on calling them team. They ain't no team. Uh oh. Keep these spike balls going. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even mean to drink that potion. Oops. I don't want to be wasting my potions. I accidentally just drank one. Oh my. The amount of archers over here. Stop. It's archers. I can pretty much... If there wasn't archers, this, this would be... Uh, I can deal with this. But yeah, like I said, in hard mode, there's actually a new like mini boss at the end of this event. I don't know why it's not just in regular mode, because I don't know many people that look forward to fighting the goblin army in hard mode. I guess there's a couple of cool things you get from them, uh, which they might be worth, actually, now that I think about it. But yeah, I'm going to cut out the rest of this. It's probably nothing interesting to see here. Probably, I never know though. Alright, so we're getting around to finishing it up. Uh, I died like every like five seconds recently. But uh, slowly but surely, we are getting it done right here. Look at all that gold that's in here too. Get the fuck out of my house. Get out of my house, bitch. It's gold time now. It's gold time now, fuck you. Oh, what? Why can't I hit him? I, did they like nerf spears? I feel like they nerf spears this patch. They had to, like, it feels so, spears feel so weak all of a sudden. I'm dead. No, please. I want to keep my arrows. Not my arrows, I want to keep my gold. I'm going to keep my gold this time, assholes. Deshaun, the arms dealer. There we go, we traded our guide for a arms dealer. I'll take it. Get the hell out of here. Uh, who killing my dude? You killing my dude, asshole? Get off the rope. You, you dead. You dead. I don't even know what the nurse is throwing. She's throwing syringes. Oh, damn. She throws syringes. That's kind of OP. <laughs> she straight up just heals you. Did I at least get a harpoon gun out of that? I didn't even get a harpoon gun out of that. Like, that wasn't worth it. I got two gold out of that whole entire thing I just went through. Ah. That's kind of dumb. It should be like a 100% harpoon drop at the end of that. I didn't get anything. I got spiked balls and like 8 billion graves, but other than that, not much earned. We got butterflies, purple. Okay, well, after that grueling fight that I never want to go through again, we are going to sell stuff to this dude right here. We're going to sell these arrows to him. And then, so I got to go look for hearts again. Hopefully I don't get interrupted this time because I want to fight the Eye of Cthulhu uh, so we can make... Make that pickaxe because we have 20 crimtain, which I think is enough to make us like four, maybe five crimtain bars. But we still need a lot. I just burped right there. Um, not really burp hiccup. So let's make all this real quick, and we're probably gonna be finding the Eye of Cthulhu with uh, what's it called? Molotovs. Cause that seems like the easiest way we're gonna get through any boss in the early game. But please tell me we're able to get this pickaxe. I don't know what to do. My inventory is so disoriented right now. I got these uh these things. I don't know why these aren't worth money. Like they're not that commonly found. If anything they should be worth a little bit of money. Like acorns are worth money, and you're able to get like a billion of those. All right, I gotta find a cave to go to. I'm probably gonna go to that one. Uh, just because that one I haven't explored that much. But yeah, I found the web covered chest, and we got the stupid web slinger. Who cares about this thing? This thing is trash. It's not good at all unless you get it like extremely early. Like, oh my god, look, look how many, how many times I can grapple. Who cares? No one. Who, who cares? I want to find the uh, the bone merchant underground. Cause that dude can sell some pretty OP stuff. I think he's able to sell bone goblins. I think. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, that or you make the bone goblins. But yeah, I'll be right back. I'll go. I gotta go fine hearts which hopefully we can hit 300 and 300 400 and we fight the eye of cthulhu all right so we're going for an attempt at least right here to kill the brain of cthulhu 
Not the brain, the eye of Cthulhu. And uh, hopefully this works out. I don't think it's going to work at all, actually. But it's worth a try, just to see what kind of difficulty we're dealing with here. I don't think it's going to be too easy. But see, I got a little setup going on. I also got potions. Got our Molotov cocktails, which just might be a big waste of them if we lose. I ain't going to lose, though. Oh, shit. Why are you jumping so fast? Okay. I'm ready for this. I've been preparing for this for a while. I got 400 health now. Thank God. Let's make sure our uh, things here are the strongest they can be. Violent Shackle. Hmm. I mean, we get more defense. I don't really need melee speed that much. We'll go with the lucky. We'll go with the lucky thing. <sighs> Sorry if there's a loud thud you guys just heard right there. I'm trying to scoot up in my... What? Alright, I guess we'll wait for this one. I was going to summon one. But I guess we'll, we'll wait for this dude. It, just a couple seconds before he spawns in. Uh, so I guess we'll just we'll chill out a bit. Chill out a bit. Let's cut down some trees, I guess. Uh, Alright. <laughs> I was ready to fight one, too. I was ready to rumble. You know, we'll get a little, we'll get a little uh, mental preparation going on here. Make sure this eye doesn't touch us. Might as well cut down some trees while I'm here. Cut down some trees. Maybe replant some trees. Can you come down here? Come down here, pal. Yeah! Oh, that didn't even kill him. Alright. Plant some acorns. No. Just gotta have these here. Just have those acorns going. Just to um, make sure our planet stays good. Our terrarian planet stays beautiful and good to go. Uh, at this point, we're just, we're just, we're just waiting. We're just taking our, we're just waiting our, waiting our, taking our time. I hope I can beat them pretty quickly when it comes to like daytime coming around. It shouldn't take that long. It should not take that long at all. Did I tell you guys that you can bomb Crimtane? I did not know of that until I attempted to bomb it. It definitely worked. We're really close to our house. We're extremely close to our house. Uh oh. Uh oh. Buff. Buffs go. Let's do this. Where you at, boy? Where's he at? There he is. There he is. Hey, pal. Whoa, 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 whoa. So many minions. Time out here. Oh. These don't hurt you, point blank. These don't hurt you, point blank. Oh, we need to throw these spike balls down. Let's just lay these out here. Yee! Okay. We gotta, we gotta figure out, of course, some, we gotta figure out our plan we wanna do here. See if we can get them to dash while we're down here. Hey man, you wanna dash into this like fucking hell? Hell yeah, you wanna dash down here? All right. Oh my god, we don't even one hit with that. Boom! How you like me now? How you like that damage? All right, we got some we got some pretty good speed on us. If I do say so myself. Oh shit! Okay, I thought he was gonna dash again. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's this? Why is there so many minions? Why is there so many minions? Why is there so many minions? There's a lot of minions. Holy shit! What the fuck? This scared the shit out of me. What was that? Oh god. Oh god. Yeah! Holy fuck. Hey, pal. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> what is this? It's spooky. Don't do that. Ah! Ah! Oh my. Yee! What is this? Why does he do this? Oh my god, the noises he makes is terrifying. We're actually not losing that much health at, like, at all. Holy shit. We should not get him to like dash on these. On these like balls of doom. I cannot hit him! Holy shit. Oh my god, we actually killed him! Oh my, that wasn't that bad. If I'm being honest here, that wasn't that bad at all. Holy shit. Kind of tempted to find another one, but we need Molotovs. Molotovs definitely carried a lot of our damage during that fight. Holy shit. I was not expecting that, like, super dash. I thought he just, like, dashed nonstop. Because uh, I read about his hard mode AI, but I didn't know he did, like, some demonic chant when he dashed. So we got the uh, treasure bag here. And uh, I read up on the treasure bags. Apparently, each boss in expert mode drops a treasure bag. And the treasure bag, bag, not bag, 
has a 100% drop rate of a special item from expert mode from that specific boss. So if we open this, what do we get? Crimtain. Oh, oh, we got the Crimtain. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I, I, I don't know what I was supposed to look at. I was probably supposed to look at what dropped over my head, like what we got out of it. And it says above your head, but I just looked at our inventory. We got this right here. <gasps> Yo, menacing shield of Cthulhu. Oh, I remember seeing stuff about this. There was a lot of talk about this shield. Yo, 30 melee damage. Is it a weapon? It's not a weapon. Oh, it's an equipable. Allows a player to dash into enemy. Double tap. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yo, that's crazy. And that, oh my god, that does a lot of damage. Time out here. Hey, what up, eyeball? Yeah. What? That's crazy. Oh my god. That's amazing. Who thought of that? Who thought of this uh, weapon? They need to get like a raise. That's insane. Oh my. I don't even know what to say. I'm stuttering. Hey, you know what I can say though? We can make that. We can make that crimp thing pickaxe. We can make that crimp. Oh, we can make the artery too if we want. I really want the pickaxe. I don't really want the sword from this set. It's not that good. We'll definitely make the yo yo though. Yo yo. Yes. This is looking good. I thought this was going to be like in a crazy... It was a hard fight. Not really. It wasn't that hard. I'm going to be honest here. I'm not going to... I'm not going to like be humble here. Because uh, it wasn't really actually that hard of a fight. Because I, I started looking at my health towards the end. And he like barely damaged me. I didn't use a health pot. I definitely. I used all the, the buffs though. Which helped a lot. Where can I place this? Get that out of my inventory. So. Let's end off this episode I believe. But first. Before I end off the episode. I'm show you guys what we're gonna do in the next episode, uh, which I am hyped for to get this armor. Let's see if we can just. Oh my God, this is crazy! You know what this reminds me of? Reminds me of the um, is it ninja set? I think it's the ninja set. Yo, got speed. Yo, we're too fast. Oh my God, I don't know what's up with me today. I'm like spitting everywhere. Like there's way too much saliva in my mouth right now. I think I'm talking too much. I'm talking too much. I'm not actually. Swallow. Oh. Chill out here. Chill out here, bitch. Look at this. Look at this. Who needs weapons? What? Who needs weapons? Here, this is what we're here for. These desert fossils. We're gonna mine as many of these as we can, and we're gonna make this armor set, which should help us a lot. Uh, hopefully. I don't know if it has better defense. I'm pretty sure it does not have better defense than silver armor set. But we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll go in like another world and test out the battle with this armor, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let me just mine all of it really quick. Let me just get a good bit of it. Yeah, we might as well just get this hole inside our, like, vein of fossils. So, we can make good, uh, projectile weapons. And we can also make, uh, an armor set out of this. Where's my magic mirror? We don't have a guide, though. That's the only problem. So, what you do, take these desert fossils. And you put them in the extractinator here. Just put some torches. And you have a chance to get these sturdy fossils. Let's see if we can get a good bit of them. But it's kind of like silt and uh, slush and all that stuff like that. Uh, see, we got a bunch of sturdy fossils from it. Okay. God, we don't have a god. I need to make more rooms. What's going on over here? You blowing this dude up? Let me help you out here. Let me help you out here with these uh, beautiful throwing knives. Hold on, I need to get these too. Because uh, we can probably sell this for good money. Alright, let's go. Let's head back. This shield is fucking cool as shit. Okay. So. Uh, let's see if I can go up to something and see if I can actually craft something. With the fossils. No. Oh yeah, I can right here. So there's bone throwing knives. Look at the damage on these. These are pretty, it's pretty good damage. But the armor set we get from it is really good. I'll talk about it in the next episode. But until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.